let's go. I just finished my first ROTC lab out at Sweeney Creek, a few miles outside Helena today. Full in my Army ROTC gear. And let me tell you, it was the experience I was not expecting. It ranged from a few inches to three feet of snow, to running up mountain sides, to running down them for a few meters, and pace counting, uh, carrying fake weapons, doing platoon operations in general, staring at trees for extended amount period extended periods of time, and much more. So let me start at the beginning. It is 1400. We got out there and in a wooded area. And so once we were there, we uh, got into a wedge formation in our individual teams. And as a platoon, it was a column formation. So we were basically in a file. So it was a file column stretching backwards and we marched out for about 100 meters before turning right and then we established security and so once we did that we did it in the triangle formation there's also a cigar ovular shape i guess that we'll be doing next lab so we did the triangle one we're supposed to approach from one of the edges of the triangle and leave through that same one so that you are ensured that there's no people leaving or entering from other sides of the triangle that is unexpected and or for enemies to try to invade the secure spot. So once we established security 360 degrees, I was on the north side of the triangle and I basically just stared at a tree for an hour and a half in the snow, soaking wet. So fortunately I got on my wet winter gear about midway through, tried to keep staying warm while my boots froze <laughs> and basically just sit, sat there with a fake M4 pointing towards a tree daydreaming, trying not to fall asleep, staring at tree longer, and occasionally the upper class will come by and say, are you staying hydrated, are you staying warm? And meanwhile, they were devising a terrain model in the snow where they'd gather twigs and rocks to try to build the general area with to show us what the objective was, which we I'll get to later. And then uh, just the other op board, and so in operations order, the warning order, just all the behind the scenes that it takes to create a plan before it's executed. So that's what the upper class are doing while us underclassmen are just staring at trees with our fake guns in the snow. And after about an hour and a half to approaching two hours, we finally got our mission uh, over the terrain model and I was an alpha team so I actually had to lead the platoon for 500 meters and then another 150 meters was our last stop. So 650 meters total, I was the pace man so the whole platoon's distance relied on me while my team member Tanner ended up holding the compass and keeping us at 337 degrees. So that made sure we were on the mission objective and so I was keeping pace. My pace step is 54 and you count every other step. So I count my left leg. So 54 of my left leg is 100 meters, so I repeated that six and a half times to get to the 650 meter mark, or once we were there, and we stopped at phase lines. So 400 meter phase line, 500 meter, or 300 meter phase line, 400 meter phase line, and then, yeah, 400, 500, and 650, that's what it was. And so with those three phase lines, every time they'd say halt, and then we'd cr crouch down, try to find some sort of cover so that I have a big rock or a tree and we'd just scan the area before they'd be radioed and say continue. So we'd continue to the next phase line. Once we got to that 650 meters mark, then we turned to the right. Uh, it was east and we walked for 100 meters further. And this entire time we carried our assault packs and our flicks here. So it was not too heavy equipment wise, but we were walking for some distance. And then once we got to the end of 100 meters there, we halted again with this hand signal, crouched down, checked the area, and then we started bounding. So as Alpha Team, I was out in the front lines, and so then we bounded for 50 meters where it's basically a, an alerted run, and then we got behind rocks, and then all of a sudden, after a few minutes of waiting there, trying to scan, then we heard to our right, bang, bang, bang. And so, because again, fake guns, people had to initiate gunfire saying, bang, bang, bang 
with their mouths. And so it was kind of funny uh, for my first time. A lot of them were used to it. But yeah, so we turn to our right, and then the three Ds, which I can always only remember two, distance and direction. One of these days, I'll remember third, but you say direction of the enemy and the distance that they're at. So like, six o'clock, 100 meters, and you like turn around and you're like, oh, they're there, and then you go bing, 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 if you see them. And so once we're there, all the squads are in a line, and then slowly uh, push the L away, so line of advance. As I get closer to him, I was on the far left side, and so I'd constantly check to make sure I wasn't advancing the line too quickly, uh, but also keeping uh, an attack violence level. So we'd yell out and we'd try to echo the people to the left and right of us and keep advancing that line. And so once we got within a certain distance, then the senior, who was the enemy, he dropped dead, and then we continued to push through. I was on charge of EPW, which is Enemies Prisoner of War. So my buddy and I, for our team, we ended up uh, doing tag team, where he would get on one side of the body, pick it up to check if there's a grenade underneath, because you don't want to end up blowing up. Um, an unnecessary amount of casualties. So you have one person check where I is the person who checks to see if there's a grenade, will cover myself behind a big tree or a rock, which I did a tree. And then I say clear. And then once it's clear and there's no uh, grenade or detonating device found, then they end up patting them down, finding whatever information or equipment's on them uh, while I'm supposed to list it down. And then once that's done, the group has established 360 degrees of security around us and then once we're done we reintegrate ourselves into the group and so we have 360 degrees of security while the leadership are there again uh, either radioing the higher headquarters to find out the next plan of attack or plan or waiting for indirect fire something like that and then once that was done, for some weird reason, I don't know if it was an IDF indirect fire order, uh, order, but we ran down at almost a sprint speed in three feet of snow, 150 meters down a hill, and before them saying halt, and then we had to go back up. So we're like treaching back up in three feet of snow up a hill before uh, we conducted an AAR, so after action review, just waiting there. And then that was the end of the lab. So it took up about three and a half hours. We're a little later than usual when it's about three. But definitely an exciting first lab where I started out staring at a tree for an hour and a half. In the end, I was charging towards the enemy, like going bang, bang, bang. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, other than that, yeah, it was enjoyable. I don't have frostbite, which I say is a win. And that is what you can expect from ROCC Labs. Lots of waiting, lots of uninformed decision making, and some excitement. So that is my first lab story, and I'm looking forward to future ones continuing the Army culture. And as always, ad toward better things.